This is Callie with Callie's Trucking Adventures, and I am just here to do another update uh, about my <laughs> progress and struggles towards getting my CDL and passing this gosh darn exam. And, um, you know, I do need to say that again, I failed. This time I failed my backing test. I failed my backing test um, because I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to do this camera where I have it on wide view and I'm just trying to get where I'm kind of centered in the middle of it. So I apologize that I'm moving it around so much. I'm going to, once I get all everything all figured out and get you know, in a truck and all that good stuff, I'll be getting equipment and getting a mount and doing all that stuff where it's not so challenging and my videos aren't so crummy. But needless to say, so I failed again on the backing portion of it this time. I got through my straight back and then when I got ready to do my offset, I I ran out of time. And um, I, you know, it is what it is. I ran out of time. I, um, I, I will be, I'm rescheduled for Wednesday at 1030 and I didn't beat the crap out of myself this time. And you know, I'm not trying to say anything negative about anybody and I'm definitely not trying to down my trainer in any sort of way, but I'm going to be honest about, you know, some, you know, something and something that happened and something that is, you know, honestly, probably why I did fail again. And that is, you know, my, um, my trainer has been working on trying to get me set up with the alley dock because I'm driving a shorter, um, I think it's a 48 foot, um, a 48 foot flatbed, and um, the dimensions are different than the 53 foot, 53 foot flatbeds or truck or um, reefers, and so. Ever since Wednesday, he's been trying to key in on the maneuvers to get me into the alley dock where I can just slide straight in there. I appreciate his efforts, but it's honestly taken all this time until last night for us to finally get that all keyed in. Like it would go in, then it wouldn't go in, then it'd go in, then it wouldn't. And finally last night, and I'm just like, I, he's having me do the driving while he's critiquing it and trying to figure it out and to be honest my brain is just boggled I'm like I, I we got it in but I have no idea how we got it in because you're telling me go this way go that way go this way go that way I know the first maneuvers I know this I know that but you know it's kind of um it's challenging and so needless to say we got it queued in last night it was probably about eight, eight about eight o'clock last night that we finally got it queued in and then I spent maybe, actually, I don't even know if it was 8. It was probably more like 8.30. It was already getting dark. And I already gotten really frustrated. And I was like, you know, we've been working on this since Thursday, trying to cue this in. And I'm not, I, I appreciate you. And I'm not trying to, trying to be an a-hole to you or anything like that. But we still don't have this cued in. And I said, most, I, I think everyone else has pointers. They kind of have a process. They kind of know what they're doing. And I still don't even have a process. And I said, and I'm... You know, I don't even know what I'm doing still. And I have my test in the morning and I was feeling so doubtful. I was just like, God, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this still because I still don't honestly know what I'm doing. Well, then we got to cue it in. Finally, we kind of, you know, I got mad at him. He got mad at me, you know, whatever. And so then we finally got it cued in. I figured out this is what I need to do. It was going in. Boom, 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 boom. We, I probably pulled it in probably, I don't know, eight to ten times last night until about 1030 last night we were working on that. Well, on top of that, he had uh, switched up my, um, my offset on me and he had added another move on there that or two that we didn't have before. And sure enough, it gets it in, it gets us in there faster and straighter. My eyes look so weird. It, it got us in there faster and straighter. But by the time I was done with that whole um, alley dock thing, I couldn't even remember what those two moves were. And that's the honest God truth. My brain was so boggled. I was just like, my brain is mush. I don't know what we did yesterday because when he added the new maneuver on me yesterday, I probably practiced it maybe four or five times and then that was it. We didn't practice it anymore. We were working on the alley dock forever last night. So 
I was like, I really need some time today to work on that one now because I don't remember what it was. And I honestly like to already know what I'm doing because if I know what I'm doing, then in my brain, I can keep going over it and going over it and going over the maneuvers and picturing it in my brain so that, you know, you, you get it down and you can just like kind of just, you know, practice it in your mind. And I didn't have the time to even do that, even write it down maybe if necessary and kind of be like, okay, this is what I got to do. Okay, blah, 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 blah. And it just makes it easier. And it makes, maybe it's just me, but it makes it easier for me. And so anyway, we go out there this morning. Again, we were um, practiced for, you know, a while. I got everyone down. Boom, 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 boom. Got them all in. Everything was good. I said, I really need about a half hour just to kind of do a little deep breathing, just to kind of get my brain back to being centered, calm down, and to just get where I need to get so that I can get ready for this, this stressful. I mean, for me, guys, this has been stressful. I'm sure that for everybody, it's not stressful. But for me, oh my goodness, this has just been stressful. And it might just be that I just overthink things because I do and it might probably make things harder on myself than I need to but it's also so important to me and so I you know I probably stress myself out but um golly so I asked for you know please if we could just have about a half hour you know maybe 15 minutes I have something I needed a few minutes just to calm down a bit before I get going on this well it turned out that I had about seven minutes to run to the bathroom and run back to the truck and get ready and so you know, um, I was stressed. I got through the, uh, I got through the whole inspection and, um, I did get one ding on that. I mean, how stupid this time I didn't freaking turn the lights on during my light check. <laughs> I, when he told me I didn't turn my lights on, I was like, Oh my God, I failed again, but I didn't fail. So that was good. But anyway, I don't know guys, I'm going to kick this thing's butt though on uh Wednesday. Honestly, once I was all done with that exam, we practiced. I don't know if I already said this in this video or not. If I did, please forgive me. But um, we practiced again for about another, I don't know, two and a half to three hours. And I got every single one. I got in them. Boom, 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 boom. No problem at all. I got in them. So um, like I said, I'm going to, now that I know exactly what it is I'm doing, I'm going to continue to uh, picture them in my brain and I'm going to um, go on ahead and kick this thing's butt on Wednesday. I'm scheduled on Wednesday at 1030 and so I'm going to do this. But I wanted to say to you guys, I, I am just, um, I, I, I can't even believe how much support I have received from you guys. I haven't had a chance. I have honestly been going full throttle trying to get prepared for this test so i have not had a chance to respond to your comments but i'm going to each and every one of you i'm a person that likes to respond to everyone individually and i have not had a chance to respond to your your comments and your love and your support you guys have your outpouring of love and support for me i am just um blown away and my heart is you've touched my heart so much to know that um you know that you guys really do care and that you're supporting me and you're behind me and you guys don't think I'm a big old freaking loser and that you know um, I just gosh you guys I can't even express how grateful I am for all of you and I just appreciate you all so much and I hope to one day um, meet all of you um, face to face and have an opportunity to just um, thank you and to connect with you on an individual basis and I just um, like I said, I just, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this video and I'm going to let you know I am not giving up. There's no freaking way I'm giving up on this. And um, I'm going to kick this thing's butt on Wednesday. I'm not worried too much about my driving, my forward driving. I, um, I honestly am pretty gosh darn good at that. I let my trainer get in my brain again. He gets in my brain and um, I was, you know, I was driving the other day and he had me all over the place, which was good. I want that. But he told me I was not hitting any curbs, no curbs at all. And then he told me, you know, you're making wide turns and you're going to get, you're going to fail because you're making too many wide turns. And I was not every single one were wide, but you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So that made me second guess myself. And so I said, you know, I really want to go and do another practice run because now I'm worried that I'm going to fail just because I'm making too wide of turns. So I was, I want to go back out and do another practice run. So yesterday, now I'm hitting curbs because I'm being too conscientious, uh, conscientious about making wide turns. And he was like, you know what, just go back to what you were doing before. And I, 
so anyway, <laughs> I will just go back to what I was doing before. And I, you guys, I'm not trying to down my trainer. And I don't mean to come across like that. He's a good guy. I know this is challenging for him too. And um, he's, he's not, you know, a bad guy. And I don't, you know, I don't want to hate on him or anything like that. I'm sure that it's hard to try to teach somebody to do something that just is so comes automatic to you or now it is second nature to you. And I am only his second, his third student and I'm a female. You know, perhaps females learn differently than males do. I don't really know. But either way, I am uh, definitely not trying to down on the dude. So know that, okay? Uh, yeah, he shouldn't have called me out, out of my name and you know, I come out of medicine and we would never, I would never do something like that to a person I was training. But I know this is a different industry. This is a, a man's world, you know, and I'm definitely not, um, I am tough skinned and I'm not thin skinned. And I can, uh, you know, I come from the era of sticks and stones may break my bones, but na names will never hurt me. So I'm definitely not a wimp when it comes to that. But when you're trying so hard and you really are giving it 125% and you've been out here killing yourself to do something and then you kind of get these negative comments and this and that, when you know you're giving it your best, it does, it kind of can't help but to let it mess with you a little bit. So, and help you, make you start second guessing your and all that good stuff but needless to say guys I really don't want to dog on him and I don't want you guys to think take it that way or for you guys to either um, again he doesn't even know I have this YouTube channel and um, I, I he'll never probably ever even see the video he doesn't spend a lot of time on YouTube and so um, but like I said guys all right I'm gonna end this thing and I just uh, again, guys, do something wonderful for yourself if you can. Do something to make your heart happy and your soul smile. And just know that I just, I really love and appreciate all of you. You have no idea. And um, uh, as always, spread kindness, love, uh, positivity, um, peace, joy, um, inclusion, understanding, warmth, and all of those great things instead of negativity. Um, you know, all that ugly stuff. Right now, my brain is kind of frazzled. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I will chat out, chat at you guys later. All right, peace out, laters.